Hello and happy Friday. Today we are going to do another five faves, um, but this time we're going to do it on limited edition products. So last time we did discontinued products. So if you have not seen that one, I will link it here. I'll also link a playlist of all of my other five faves videos um, down below. But today it's limited edition or limited edition products because some of these are actually permanent. Don't you just hate when brands do that? They lure you in with the hype and then you're like running to the store to get a product and then, you know, six months later, they just make it part of their permanent collection. I guarantee that I have mentioned every single one of the products that I have in front of me in a video before because I, I still use them and I still love them. So this is the Estee Lauder Highlighter in Modern Mercury. I've mentioned it before. This is part of the Victoria Beckham collaboration. This again was one of those limited edition products, but they brought it back two years in a row. Victoria Beckham had two collections with Estee Lauder. Um, I think they were different years or maybe different seasons, but this was brought back twice in slightly different packaging each time, but nonetheless. Um, this originally came out, I don't know, 2013, I think, and I didn't buy it. And then when the first Victoria Beckham collection was released and I found out that they were releasing this highlighter, I jumped on it even though this was a ridiculous price. I think it was like $75, but it is a beautiful highlighter and it's one that I still use. I feel like I use this quite a bit, but there isn't like too much of a dent in it. It's like a really beautiful um, like gelée formulation. Super easy, blendable. I love the warm rosy tone to this. So this highlight that you see is the Modern Mercury Highlighter, which I love. This is a lot of highlighter, so I doubt I'll go through it in my lifetime, but I'm very happy to have it in my collection. So speaking of highlighters, this is a highlighting palette that was released either last year or the year before from NARS. It's the NARS Banque de Sable or Sable. Don't know if it's supposed to be French, but this is a really beautiful highlighting palette. I was really torn about whether to get this when it was released, um, but I went for it and I have no regrets. I love all three of these colors. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a lot of wear out of the um, lighter, the palest shade, but it's really pretty on and I guess because my skin tone just is kind of in the middle, I have like a very medium skin tone, I can typically get away with um, most palettes because the lightest shades will still work for me and the deeper shades will still work for me. I kind of just lucky I guess like that. But I love the formulation of this also, very similar to the um, formulation of the Modern Mercury highlighter but these have slightly less fallout, if that's even possible, and they just blend so smoothly, and again, it's just like such a great palette to have. So while this is limited edition, NARS did recently come out with something very similar. I think they did two or three different variations of um, like the highlighter trio, and they also released them in singles. So it's not the exact same shades that are in this palette, but if you are interested in the formulation and you missed out on this palette, I would go check out those singles because they're going to be very similar to these. Maybe not the exact same shades, but at least it's a similar formulation. I'm always ooing and aahing over Chanel's limited edition collections. I stopped buying Chanel in bulk. <laughs> in the last few years, I probably haven't picked up anything from the brand, but whenever they do come out with their Chanel Le Beige powders, I'm always super tempted because I picked this out, I think when they first launched their Le Beige line, so it was like four or five years ago now, but I absolutely love this powder. Their whole entire Le Beige line is definitely my makeup aesthetic. It is like a really natural makeup. It's kind of like trying to enhance your, your natural skin and just giving yourself a glow. So this one was the Le Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor Powder. This was in number two, so there was another shade um, and I think it was just lighter, so I think this might have been deeper of the two. So this overall is a very satin to matte powder. It's definitely more satin than matte, but it's, it doesn't have a lot of um, like shimmer to it, which is really nice. There is a bit of a sheen to it, but not anything like sparkly or glittery. I really love this um, top color here. It's kind of like a warm reddish brown, and it just gives your skin this really beautiful, like just came in from the sun look, but without actually being out in the sun. These powders are also super finely milled and they last pretty much all day long on me. So they do come out with a similar product every year. Um, you know, it'll look different, different embossing, different shades, uh, but it's ultimately pretty similar product. So I love these powders. 
I would recommend checking them out for sure. The only reason I don't buy more of them is because I'm trying to curb my beauty acquisition, but I would definitely pick up a future Le Beige powder um, if I ever run out of this. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and mention two items for my number four spot, and these are both face palettes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. This is the very, very first one that she brought out. It's Natural Beauty. This was supposed to be limited edition. I distinctly remember it was supposed to be limited edition and then it never went away and then she also added two or three more color variations of this. But this is the OG, this is the original one, the natural beauty one. I really like this palette. Um, you can tell that I really like it because I have put significant dents in each one of these pans really. But I love this palette for travel, for every day, for those days where I'm just like, I can't be bothered like rummaging through my blush collection or my highlighters and I just want a product that works and that has everything, I will go to this palette. True to its name, it's a very natural look, so it's perfect for like every day, it's perfect for when I'm like trying to head off to work in the morning. So I'm counting this because even though it is available and there are two or three different ones now, when I picked this up, it was supposed to be limited edition. The other palette is from Hourglass. Now this was released, I think in 2016. It's the one with the faux marble packaging, which I absolutely love. So this was the ambient lighting edit in Surreal Light. So this had a finishing powder, it had a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. So I really like this palette, and I think what drew me most to this palette over all of the other like annual limited edition holiday palettes from Hourglass is that every powder in this palette is new. Hourglass has a really bad habit of putting their permanent powders um, in these palettes and then just maybe adding one or two different shades. And because I already have a lot of ambient lighting powders, I really don't want to just get the same products that I already have. I really want something different. So this was a palette that they created that had all new shades. While these powders are not unique and there are definitely some dupable shades from their permanent collection, I just love the overall aesthetic of this palette. Again, because of my medium skin tone, um, this actually works really well for me. I can wear everything in here. Um, the bronzer is maybe a tad light, but but it does still warm up the skin and whenever I travel and again whenever I just like want one palette that will do everything this is my go-to. The last thing I wanted to mention is a lipstick. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a matte revolution lipstick in Pillow Talk. Now again, when I picked this up, it was limited edition. I am going to try to find the promo email that I got for this that said that um, I guess a whole bunch of people bought it when it first was released and then it went out of stock and then when it was restocked, an email went out and it said, you know, limited edition Pillow Talk lipstick, like get it now before it disappears forever. So if I can find that little promo image, I will stick it here but that is why I picked this up. I mean, I've always really enjoyed the Pillow Talk lip liner. This is my second one of these actually. And I like it because um, it's like a really great base for lipsticks. I really love the formulation of these lip sheets in general. They also came out with a whole bunch of new shades, which I'm definitely gonna pick up some. I really wanna get the Bond Girl one and Walk of Shame. Those are my two other favorite um, Matte Revolution lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. But this is a great color. I typically don't go for shades like this. I typically go for like the berry shades and the rosy shades and the mauvey shades. So this like pinky beige shade is a little bit, you know, out of my comfort zone. But I love the formulation of the Matte Revolution lipsticks. They just work really well on my lips. I don't find them to be drying. I find that they wear pretty well. And this color is actually really great. It's a really great neutral. It is a bit lighter than the natural lip color. So when I first tried this, I wasn't really in love with it because my lips are naturally like a deeper color. They're more like mauvey and, you know, rosy than this lipstick shade. So when I first put it on, it's a bit jarring because it's not something I typically gravitate towards. But the more I wore it, the more I fell in love with it. So it's a really great everyday neutral color. And again, no longer limited edition because it's still available and they actually just expanded their Pillow Talk line with a blush and an eyeshadow palette. But it was at the time when I picked it up and I still absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm actually kind of glad that it's no longer limited edition because um, I will definitely be picking up a new tube of this once I'm through with it. Okay, so those were my five, but really six 
favorite limited edition products that I have in my collection right now. Like I said, I don't really have too many limited edition things, but if that changes, maybe we'll do an update on this video. Before you guys go, you have to let me know what your favorite limited edition product is, or let me know what product that you rushed out to the store to get because you thought it was gonna be limited edition, but then the brand decided to make it part of a permanent collection because that irks me to no end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.